Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. Now if you're not super into baking or you're just running low on time with all of your other Christmas baking that you're doing, then this cookie recipe is the one for you. It's super, super easy and you can pretty much use any flavor profile. Now I know I showed you three eggs there, but it's just two eggs that you need plus a third cup of vegetable oil. Now in a previous video earlier in Vlogmas, I did some red velvet cookies and I used, I believe it was Tasty's recipe. So I just took that same principle of adding two eggs and a third cup of oil to all of these other different cake mixes. So this first flavor that I'm showing you guys is white chocolate mint. Basically I take the vanilla cake mix, I add in some of that green gel food coloring, a little bit of yellow to make it a little bit more punchy, and then I added in the eggs and the oil, and I also added in some white chocolate mint M&Ms. Even know that these existed until I went to the store to go and pick them up. Then I'm using a cookie scoop just to make sure that everything is nice and even. If you don't have a cookie scoop, you can obviously just use a spoon and drop it yourself. However, I find with a cookie scoop, things turn out a little bit more even and a little bit more perfect, and then they're going to bake a little bit more evenly as well. Then they go into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 11 to 13 minutes. The next cookie up is my frozen themed cookie and I'm just taking the French vanilla cake mix and adding in those sprinkles. I'm not changing the profile of the flavor at all, just adding that in, putting the usual ingredients in and then spooning it out as per usual. This next one is the espresso kind of mocha flavor that I created, putting that chocolate cake mix in. This is the only one where I used a different box cake mix. It's not the same brand. And I must say that I liked the way this texture turned out the best. Not sure if that's because of the brand that I used or if it's because it's chocolate. I like the way this one turned out very similar to the red velvet. The red velvet had that crackly top just like those chocolate ones end up having as well. This flavor here is white chocolate carrot cake. Again, don't really have to change the flavor profile of this one at all. Adding in the oil, adding in the eggs, and then spooning it out. If you like your carrot cake really nice and spiced up, you could definitely add some more things in there like some more cinnamon or some nutmeg just to kick it up a little bit more. The next flavor up is the butter pecan, and I was really disappointed because when I was at the store, I couldn't find any pecans. However, I found them in my cupboard, so apparently I was already pre-prepared for this, and I also ended up adding some butterscotch chips as well. I just wanted to make something a little bit more different. Every single cookie, I wanted to have a different flavor profile. I also had two other box cake mixes that I didn't end up using. It didn't really seem to fit the holiday flavor profile, so I just left them for another day. And here are all the finished cookies. I really like this whole concept of this. Now one thing is, is I was a little bit disappointed that they weren't all the thin and chewy cookies that I had created when I did the same exact thing with the red velvet mix and the chocolate mix. Not really sure why that is. I did use different brands for both the chocolate and the red velvet cookies that I made in a previous video. So perhaps it's just the type of brand that I use. Now that being said, there's nothing wrong with the flavor profile of the other cookies. It is just more of a cake-like cookie as opposed to the thin and chewy, which is my favorite. I think the biggest advantage of doing something like this is you get a lot of different types of cookies in a very short period of time. If I were to make all of these from scratch, it would obviously take a lot longer, and if you're not super into baking, that can be very intimidating. This way, you get lots of different flavors really, really quickly, and it looks beautiful when they're all lined up in this nice little pastry box here, but of course, even if you bring them on a platter, it surely is impressive to wherever you're going. And these cookies freeze really well in an airtight container. I would personally probably only keep them for up to one month, but you could probably get away with two months. Now let's get into the subscriber submission of the day. I was just so impressed with this adorable cake. I love all of the things on top of it, the meringue and the little fondant bear is just too cute. And if you want to be the next subscriber submission of the video, then please follow me at SD Bake Shop on Instagram where you can either tag me in a photo or send me a photo of whatever dessert you want featured on my channel. All and any levels are welcome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!